Hi everyone, I'm Ria. I'm a product manager working on GitHub Copilot in Visual Studio. And today I'm going to talk to you about how we're improving the context and the responses that you're getting in Copilot chat. Some way, new ways that we're going to help you interact with Copilot and when you get stuck, actually iterate and get a better response. Some ways we're actually grabbing context for you so that you don't have to do all the hard work and thinking about what to give uh, Copilot so you can get a good response. And also some of the ways we're preemptively making sure that you provide the right context so that you get good responses straight away. We're focused on creating ways to detect when you are writing a prompt in your flow, if there's information or anything context that you could provide to make your response even better. And so let me tell you what I mean by this. I'm going to type explain this file. And what you'll notice right there is that you actually get a blue squiggle and highlighted mention. So what it's doing is it's detecting that in this case where you wrote this prompt, it would be helpful if you added some piece of context to get an even more precise answer. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to say I care about learning about um, order service. And let's let's reference the class, actually not the document. Let's see what it comes out with. Here, I'm actually get able to get a lot preciser response because of this intuitively being able to add context and like Copilot being able to kind of detect. It would be helpful if you added something right here. And this is awesome. This is the kind of response that I would be hoping for. This is very in depth and goes through all the information that I need. Now, I wanted to talk about something else that we've been doing to help you in the flow of when you're writing things to Copilot. So we've made Copilot substantially more conversational um, so that it's easier for you to refine and iterate on your prompts to get the most out of it. And so we've created this new guided experience so that when you have added the cl clarity of your, in your prompt, Copilot will just directly answer. But when you send something more ambiguous, instead of saying, I don't know, it actually will help um, get you a better response. So let me go try this out by starting a new thread. I'm going to say something pretty ambiguous in the prompt box. I'm going to say, what is this? You previously, like I said, what it would do is say, I'm not sure. Um, and so now what it's doing is actually doing two different things. One, it's teaching you what you could do next time to get a better response. Um, so here it's saying it'd be great if you had like a reference to a file or range of or something like that. So it's helping teach you. And the other thing that it's actually able to do is understand that, like infer that these are the kinds of pieces of context that you might be referring to. So like, are you referring to your order service? Are you referring to a solution? And give you follow up prompts that are in the context of what you actually might be referring to so you can continue to iterate and refine. And so I meant the order service, so I'm going to select that again. With this, like I think this 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 experience of this conversational mechanism happens throughout your conversation. If Copilot's not clear on like what you mean, it will come out with some sort of um, clarification so that you can iterate and redirect Copilot into exactly what you want. I just wanted to bring your attention back to the chat window. And if you notice, we have GPT-4.0 right here. So we've actually recently introduced a model picker where we used to just give you the latest and greatest AI, uh, open AI models, but now we've actually opened it up to all of the up-to-date open AI models and some models from Google and Anthropic so that depending on the kind of question that you want to ask and depending on what you're looking for, if it's code expertise, if it's like deep reasoning skills, potentially context windows, each of these different models can help you in different aspects of this. This will help you get better responses from Copilot. And I'm curious to learn as everyone starts using this, which ones do they like for what, what different tasks? Thank you so much for joining. I hope this actually helped you understand how Copilot works under the covers and some of the really cool things that we're doing to improve your experience here. Feel free to provide feedback on the developer community page if there are things that you didn't like or you did really like um, or any other feedback that you have at all for us. Um, thank you so much. Bye. See you soon.